Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. Uh, today is Wednesday, July 21st. A big shout out, happy birthday to my beautiful niece, um, Jessica. Be meeting up with her later today to celebrate her life, which has always been a great blessing. We're taking our devotions from Brenda Kuhneman's book, The Daily Prophecy. I can't say enough how much of a blessing this has been, and I will have information linked below to their ministry page so you can consider getting your own copy. This is something I definitely, I love the perpetual. You can see it starts up here with a prophetic word, and I'm learning a lot more about the prophetic. It really is speaking life. There's a scripture, a prophetic scripture, and then Brenda expounds on it. And then there's a little prayer to kind of guide you. This doesn't have to be the the, oh, the be all and the end all of your prayer. But uh, it is definitely a, a directive that will help you to, um, you know, lead you as you're praying about this particular topic. But today, our devotion is entitled, Ready to Prophesy. Hmm. Let's hear. I have placed a spirit of prophecy upon my people. Some shall be known to prophesy while others will experience moments of prophecy. But know this, that prophecy shall continue to rest upon the church. So be open and ready for me to prophesy through you at any hour. Anyone ready to prophesy? Most of us may think, that's something beyond me, not worthy, not spiritual enough. Why would God use me? Or we have a misunderstanding of what prophecy is. You can prophesy into someone's life by speaking the word of truth. God's, you know, if he says um, he's going to do something in his word, I've told you Hebrews 6, 18, it's impossible for God to lie. And if you know, we can just take the simplest um truth we know about the Bible. Jesus loves you. He so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. That's a truth. You can speak that truth to someone and say, God loves you. If God loves you. He's for you. He's not against you. You're prophesying. You're speaking truth and prophecy into that person's life. And through that, you can, with assurance, without feeling like you're just grabbing something out of the air and making it up, you can speak truth into someone's life, which is prophesying. Now, Prophets of old, the office of the prophet, I'm not going to go into a full teaching on all that it, because I'm still learning it myself, but there has been an upsurge of the prophetic in the last couple of years. God has been stirring it and especially 2019, 2020, the unity of the prophets across the planet has been staggering. I have never in my life We've heard of prophetic things here and there, and primarily because, unfortunately, the church has squashed the prophetic gifts. They didn't want uh, the Holy Spirit to speak prophetically. Let me change that angle, blank wall. There you go. Sorry, guys. Looking back there and seeing that blank wall. I should have this set up before I start. Anyway, um, so I know that, that the prophets are rising, and we are seeing things happen more and more. People mock the prophets or they are quick to label them a false prophet. And uh, that's why we kind of shy away from it. We don't want to be a false prophet. We are very, uh, we don't want to be led astray. And so, it, you know, there's a proper, I think, level of caution. But through that, we have shut down all prophecy, which is a big mistake because God uses the prophetic to guide and to lead his people. And, um, you know, if you want to think about this, Isaiah because in this day and age, we're so microwave. We want you to say it, and 10 minutes later, it's come to pass. Really, guys? I mean, Isaiah was long dead before his prophecies about Cyrus, and I found in Isaiah 45, that was spoken over 100 years before Cyrus ever came on the scene. Um, Elijah prophesied the death of Jezebel, and he was gone. He had been taken up before seven, eight, nine years, I can't remember the, it was a time frame before that ever happened. He prophesied about her death uh, on the, right in that spot, the dogs would eat her and everything else. He prophesied it and it came to pass, but it never happened for his eyes to see it. 
So is Elijah a false prophet? In this day and age, he probably would have been slapped as a labeled as a, a false prophet. So we have to be careful and ask for the Lord's wisdom when it comes to this particular gift and is specifically the office of the prophet. And you do have to be careful because the devil wants us to be deceived. So let's read the prophetic scripture and hear how Brenda expounds on this. Our scripture comes out of Romans chapter 12, verse 6. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the portion of faith. Let's hear how Brenda expounds on this. Not everyone in the Bible who prophesied, even those who spoke some of the most amazing words from the Lord, were prophets. Many of them were everyday people God used to deliver a divine message. Some examples are, were Ananias, who gave the word of the Lord to Saul. That's in Acts chapter 9, verses 17 to 18, if you want to read further on that. Philip also had four daughters who prophesied. That's found in the book of Acts chapter 21, verse 9. And even King Saul prophesied when he got around a prophetic atmosphere, but he wasn't a prophet. That's found in 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 11. I have received prophetic words. I don't, by any stretch of the imagination, consider myself a prophet. <laughs> God is still using prophets today more than ever. Just like these in the Bible who God used to prophesy a key word at an unexpected time, we need to remain open to the Holy Spirit who can use us at any moment to speak the word of the Lord. If you want God to use you in prophecy, keep a humble heart and stay close to him. Remain submitted in a local church where your character and ethics can be held accountable and be molded and developed. Lastly, don't feel you have to force anything, but also don't shy away from it. Let God set it up in a divine way and open the door for you. The key is is to be ready and willing at any time to prophesy. Now, I just want to further encourage, especially if this is kind of a, a unsettling feeling, like prophecy, what, prophets, what? Just know that it is one of the gifts the Lord uses. And he's not going to put on anybody anything that is not what he planned for them. He wants you to be blessed in every way possible, and he wants you to be used. He wants that connection with you, that trust that he can use you. Just submit yourself and say, Lord, if that's what you want for me, help me to receive it and to walk in it in obedience. And then ask him to give you greater understanding if this is an area that you're a little fuzzy on, or there's been church teachings that haven't been clear or even church teachings or denominational teachings that um, say that prophetic things are passed away and they're demonic or, you know, anything that would cause reservation. Prophecy comes from the Lord, excuse me. It's from the Lord. It's one of the gifts of the Spirit. We don't need to fear it. And we just need to be open to what the Lord is going to do. And then ask him, say, give me eyes to see what I need to see. Give me ears to hear you in the spirit so I can properly discern. And God wants that intimacy. He wants you to hear his voice and to obey it. My sheep hear my voice. That's what it says in the scriptures and John. So let's pray the prayer. Okay. Heavenly Father, I open my heart to be ready to prophesy. Teach me how to be more effective and accurate in prophecy and strengthen my ability to deliver the word of the Lord with taste and grace in Jesus name. Lord, clear up any confusion, any area where the enemy is trying to uh, cause doubt or even cause people to stumble in their faith. Open eyes, Lord God, open hearts and help us to properly discern your spirit in Jesus name. Amen. Well, God bless you. And thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I hope this has been a blessing to you. I hope you consider liking and subscribing and bye until next time.